You've got to get clear on the outcome. If changes happen, whether it's new technology, new systems, new processes, new team, what's my outcome? What's my ultimate goal here? Lauren Romero with the Arizona Multi-Housing Association. We hired George because of his enthusiasm and his message. I've received nothing but positive feedback on his performance and we were thrilled to have him. So how many of you know Chuck Yeager? Heard of the name? Yeah. The guy who invented Jaegermeister, right? <laughs> no, not that guy? Okay. So Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier and uh, the cool story that he tells is that the two gentlemen, and many people don't know this, but the two gentlemen who attempted to break the sound barrier before Chuck Yeager went up into the air and they actually would hit these mock speeds, right? And they're hitting these resistance and, and the plane's going faster, but the plane starts shaking, hitting that resistance and both pilots pulled back on the plane. Those planes couldn't handle that kind of resistance and both planes exploded, killing both guys. But Chuck Yeager knew this going up into the air. So one day he realizes that he's gonna have to get to that decision point of, do I pull back like the other gentleman did or do I push forward? So he hits those mock speeds, right? He's moving fast, moving, 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 moving. And he gets to the, that resistance point, he doesn't know what to do, but he knows that, man, those last gentlemen, they died by pulling back, I'm gonna push forward. So he pushes forward and the story that he tells is, all he hears is this loud sonic boom and then complete silence after that because he had just broken the sound barrier. And so a lot of times we get to our edges, right? We get to the edges of our comfort zone and we start to feel that same sense of resistance. Oh boy, change is coming. Uh oh, what happened in the past? And so our, our mind starts to tell us all these stories about what's gonna happen. And we have to remember that most people, when they start hitting those edges, the edges of their comfort zone, what they tend to do is they can't handle that resistance or they don't know how to work through it. They don't know how to manage themselves through it. So they go right back to doing what's comfortable because it's familiar. We are thrilled to have him. It increased our attendance more than we've ever seen. And we're thrilled to recommend him to anybody else who is interested.